Here in Baltimore, the massive cleanup effort hasn't even started yet. Local commuters and the nation's critical supply chain must now adjust for what could be an extremely lengthy and costly effort to return to normal. The path to normalcy will not be easy. It will not be quick. It will not be inexpensive. But we will rebuild together. The busy port of Baltimore, almost entirely cut off, blocked by a large portion of the fallen Francis Scott Key Bridge after that overnight collision involving a massive cargo ship. The ninth busiest in the nation, Baltimore's port handled more than $80 billion in international cargo last year. Located in the heart of the Mid-Atlantic, Baltimore is the closest East Coast port to the Midwest and within a day's drive to a third of the entire country's population. It's also the nation's top port in terms of handling farm and construction machinery and cars and light trucks with nearly 850,000 vehicles passing through last year. There is no question that this will be a major and protracted impact to supply chains. The key bridge spanning just a mile and a half of the 51 mile plus Baltimore Beltway, still a vital local artery carrying more than 11 million vehicles last year. Drivers in this area are going to feel the impact pretty quickly here. That includes nearly 4,900 truck drivers every day. Many of them use the bridge because of size and restrictions, barring hazardous materials from going through the city's two main express tunnels. There's going to be significant disruptions to trucking on the, uh, on the East Coast. Still, experts say it's unlikely we will see a massive supply chain backup like the one the country experienced during the pandemic. Yeah, and the reason for that is really interesting. Uh, apparently, the supply chain, according to the experts we've talked to, has gotten a lot more resilient since the pandemic, a lot more layers of redundancy. So we're unlikely to see those huge backups that we saw off the coast of, uh, especially off the West Coast during the pandemic. That said, we do have ships already anchored out at sea because they can't get into the port. And by the way, if you hadn't heard the news, some cruise lines are already moving operations out of Baltimore down to Norfolk because they simply cannot move in and out of this port. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.